Once again, remember, the entire civilization is built on keeping the black man and the black woman apart. When I first came out doing the Black Man's Guide back in 1990, people was fighting with me. They was having protests. It was like that thing you saw that with Kavanaugh. People be out that pushing and shoving and getting the food. It was awful, okay? These were black women, that's what I'm saying. Everywhere I went, it was going on. And they was having town hall meetings about me, the whole thing. They had t-shirts, right? All that stuff, you know? Van shirts out of here. I got one, I say. But at any rate, this went on for about six months. And then it took a curve. The women and the men started listening to me. The women and the men start coming to the meetings together and talking and trying to get things worked out. That's when they took me off television because the enemy is not gonna let nobody put the black man and the black woman back together under no circumstance. The seven attributes of a good woman, speak on that. Well, I, I think that's out there a lot of places, but you know, I just mentioned things about forgiveness. You know, we remember everything somebody else do. Certainly our men, but we forget about what we do. Right. Uh, I talked about uh, patience, mm. having a sense of humor, cooking the proper food, uh, speaking in a civilized way to our man, setting a good example, example over our children, and not wasting all of our money trying to look good instead of be good. And wow. uh, I just talked about those types of things. You know, a, a good black woman is always concerned about her nation. She is not under any kind of self-hypnosis of America trying to be somebody who she's not. She is not out taking all of her hard earned and her man's money to spend a hundred dollars on her fingernails. Everything we want from our men costs money. Mm -hmm. everything they want from us just comes from us to have a better attitude or a smile. That don't cost us nothing, but we withhold it because it don't mm -hmm. go like our fairy tale version of how the relationship's supposed to go. We are sick people. Mm -hmm. It ain't just him that's got problems. We got problems too. And we the mother. Yeah. Like I say, we have them before anybody. So if we want a better man, we have to raise a better man. We're working for the future. Because working for the present, we ain't making no progress. Mm -hmm.